when vessels move beyond sight of land, there are no reliable references for direction. The wind direction and the direction of celestial bodies are not reliable references for direction because they are in motion. A long time ago, sailors and soldiers suspended pieces of magnetite called lodestones and used them as magnetic compasses. Humans have continued to improve on how pieces of metal can interact with Earth's magnetic field to tell us direction. Some mobile phones have a magnetometer that measures the strength and direction of Earth's magnetic field and gives a digital output of magnetic direction. This slide represents a basic magnetic compass, such as a Boy Scout would use. The needle, shown in red, is magnetized and seeks the magnetic north pole. A marine magnetic compass will be placed in a bracket with gimbals along the longitudinal center line of the ship. The compass card has cardinal intercardinal points and degrees printed on one side. The compass card has magnets on the underside and is able to pivot about the center of the card. The compass is fixed in a bracket on the bridge with lower line if the compass is aligned with the ship's bow or head. We use the compass to steer the ship by. Here we see the compass, the object with the yellow tape, on the center line of a work boat. There are aids to navigation along most coastlines to guide navigators and warn them away from dangers. The one shown here is in Shiguaramas Bay. Ships are required to carry a compass bearing device, or other means, independent of any power supply to take bearings over and arc of the horizon of 360 degrees. We can use the magnetic compass to take bearings of charted aids to navigation. Remember that any position lines obtained by compass bearing have to be converted to true bearings before being plotted on a nautical chart. We cover how to convert from compass to true in a separate tutorial. Rule 7 of the International Regulations for Preventing Collisions at Sea provides guidance on determining if risk of collision exists. It includes assessing a series of compass bearings taken of an approaching vessel. Hopefully. It is clear by now that the compass card and the lower line combine to provide the navigator with the key outputs such as heading and bearings. A magnetic compass is graduated in points, cardinal points, intercardinal points, three-letter points and by points. Cardinal and intercardinal points are still widely used especially for wind and current directions in weather reports and forecasts and sailing directions. Some compass cards are graduated in degrees only. There are 360 degrees in any circle, including compasses. Degrees are widely used for headings, courses and bearings of objects. As navigators, we need to be able to think in points and degrees and translate between them easily. Let us look at the cardinal points. North is the direction toward the north magnetic pole. South is always opposite to north. East is to the right of north. West is to the left of north. The cardinal points expressed in degrees are as follows, north as usually 000 degrees sometimes 360 degrees as used. East is 090 degrees, south is 180 degrees, west is 270 degrees. I strongly recommend that you get in the habit of using single quote three digit notation when speaking about compass direction. It is easy for someone to hear 13 degrees when 30 degrees is said but it is impossible to confuse 013 with 030. The inner cardinal points lie exactly in the middle between the cardinals. Northeast lies between north and east. Southeast lies between south and east. Southwest lies between south and west. Northwest lies between north and west. Sometimes an area is divided into sectors. Especially if the area is circular, the area can be divided into quadrants named after the intercardinal points. The intercardinal points expressed in degrees are as follows, northeast is 0, 4, 5 degrees. Southeast is 1, 3, 5 degrees. Southwest is 2, 2, 5 degrees and northwest is 3, 1, 5 degrees. Again. I strongly recommend that you get in the habit of using single quote three digit notation when speaking about compass direction. The three letter points lie exactly in the middle between the cardinals and inner cardinal points. North northeast lies between north and northeast. East northeast lies between east and northeast. East southeast lies between east and southeast. South southeast lies between south and southeast. 
South southwest lies between south and southwest. West southwest lies between west and southwest. West northwest lies between west and northwest and north northwest lies between north and northwest. The three letter points expressed in degrees are as follows. North northeast is 0, 2, 2.5 degrees. East northeast is 0, 6, 7.5 degrees. East southeast is 1, 1, 2.5 degrees. South southeast is 1, 5, 7.5 degrees. South southwest is 2, 0, 2.5 degrees. West southwest is 2, 4, 7.5 degrees. West northwest is 2, 9, 2.5 degrees. North northwest is 3, 3, 7.5 degrees. All ships are required to carry a properly adjusted standard magnetic compass or other means, independent of any power supply to determine the ship's heading and display the reading at the main steering position. Vessels more than 150 gross tonnage and all passenger ships must carry a spare magnetic compass interchangeable with the magnetic compass. Pleasure boats are less than 150 gross tonnage. Professional marine compasses usually have bar magnets glued to the underside of a disc pivoted in the center so it can turn, called a compass card, with a compass row showing cardinal points and degrees. Better compasses are liquid filled. The chamber containing the needle or disc is filled with a liquid whose purpose is to damp the oscillations of the needle so it will settle down to point to point to north more quickly and also protect the needle or disc from shock. A magnetic compass is a finely constructed instrument with a number of delicate parts and should be handled with extreme care at all times. Many consider only the strong metal bowl and the heavy glass and the sturdy box and forget entirely the precision ground pivot and delicate jeweled bearing. A compass, properly handled handled and maintained, should give satisfactory service for years. Direction on nautical charts is referenced on the true or geographical north pole. Direction on the ship's compass is referenced on the magnetic north pole. The difference between the true direction and the compass direction is called compass error. Ships must have means of correcting compass heading and bearings to true at all times. Variation is the part of compass error that is caused by Earth's magnetic field. Deviation is the part of compass error that is caused by the ship's own magnetism. We said that all ships must carry a properly adjusted compass. The deviation card is proof of adjustment. A compass adjuster creates a deviation card for the vessel every 12 months.